In this second experiment with MOSFETs, I'm going to change things very slightly. The first change to notice is that I'm measuring my gate source voltage with this orange voltmeter, and I'm almost keeping it constant. I'm going to set it to particular values, but otherwise keep it constant. I've added an extra voltmeter, which is my data logger, okay, to measure the drain source voltage, and I'm using my data logger to measure the drain source current, as I did before. And recall from our first experiment, the threshold voltage was 3.9 volts. Now that's nominally where the MOSFET starts to conduct, but if we remember our results from last time, actually you've got this curve here. So even at 3.9 volts, 3.7 volts, which is about here, the MOSFET's still going to be conducting a bit. Okay, so this is where we're coming from. So let's have a look and see what happens. I've set my gate source voltage to be 3.7 volts straight away. And I'm going to turn the power supply voltage up here. So what I'm bearing this time is I'm bearing this voltage here, the actual supply voltage. And at the moment, it's on zero. So I'll set my data logger running. And what happens is that we see not a lot happening. That's quite a small amount of current flowing. Let's just have a look at that graph for a moment. What happened was, as I increased the drain source voltage this time, it looks very similar to the graph we had last time, but it's not the same graph. Be very careful. What happened is the current increased. It's really hard to see. And then the current stayed pretty well constant at a predetermined value. Let's now try that experiment again. But we're going to change the gate voltage. So we're going to what normally is the threshold voltage now, which is 3.9 volts. Okay, so here I have my and that doesn't work. Okay, so let's just run this experiment again. So let's see if we get anything similar. So I'm going to increase the voltage. Here it goes on the data logger. And what we find here is we've got a very similar curve to last time, a very similar curve indeed, but the current that it saturates at, that it limits the current to, is now higher. So what we find here is that as we increase the gate source voltage, the current that is being allowed to flow through the MOSFET is increasing. Notice how this is not a linear graph, so this is not obeying any sort of Ohm's law or anything like that. I mean, this is definitely not an ohmic conductor there, is it? I'm, I'm effectively measuring resistance, I'm measuring voltage and current. Let's turn it up again, we'll go up to 4.1 volts, as close as we can. So here now we've got 4.1 volts, we'll run our voltage back up again. And there it goes from the data logger. And as you can see now, we get a very similar behavior in that we get the current increasing initially and then plateauing, becoming flat. We'll just do a couple more of these. The reason I'm not leaving it on very long is I don't want the MOSFET to get toasty. 4.3 volts. So here we go. And by now, quite familiar behavior. If we go down the ways again. So we've got 4.3. Like this. And then we'll go up one more time. It's 4.5 volts. And we'll go just a little bit higher. And we get the same graph. And we'll stop there. Now, next we need to have a little analysis of this to see what's actually happened. So we'll just write down our values. And I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way so I can draw on the piece of paper. Because uh, I'm going to put my voltmeter out of sight. and put my results up there. And my results are still here on the data logger. So what we'll find here is if we draw the same graph as we did before, this is the drain source voltage. Now this is what's different compared to last time. Okay, this is the drain source current. Okay, strange symbol for drain source current there. What we find is this. We find that if we 
increase the voltage, then we get a straight line graph. Now that looks like a resistor. That's this part of the graph just here. So it behaves like a resistor. But then the current limits to some value and the graph plateaus. If we label that as, let's say this was our um, 3.9 volts. If we draw another graph and we take, let's say the last one we did, 4.5 volts, well, what did we see? Well, we saw two things. We saw, first of all, that the graph is steeper and that it plateaus higher. So this might be stopping off at 4.5 volts. Like this. Okay? So that's the, that's the next thing to look at. Now, what does this actually show us? Well, it shows us that in this part of the graph, just here, our MOSFET is acting like a resistor. So this is the resistive region. Okay, and what does the resistance depend upon? Well, this is a graph of, remember the resistor equation, we have V equals IR, and therefore R equals V over I. So we've plotted our graph the wrong way up. If this had been on the y-axis, the gradient would have been resistance, but it's not the voltage on the x-axis. So our steeper gradient, our green line there, is illustrating a lower resistance. Okay, so resistive region where R depends on the gate source voltage. Okay. And as the gate source voltage goes up, the resistance goes down. But notice on our data logger, by the time you get to one volt, okay, this one volt just here, look, that behavior has completely ceased. Okay, so we must put a little footnote on here and say, only when VDS, not GS, VDS, the drain source voltage, is less than about 0.5 volts. So for small voltages, for small voltages, the MOSFET behaves like a resistor. What about for larger values? Well, for larger values of um, drain source voltage, we've got this region here. And what this region is here, this region is the current sink region. Now what does this, this region look like? Well, it's flat. Okay, so what that means is that MOSFET acts to um, regulate a constant current independent of VDS. So unlike a resistor where you increase the voltage of the current increases, in this region, this region here, you increase the drain source voltage and the current stays exactly the same. You get a constant current. And what does that constant current depend upon? Well, again, it depends upon the gate source voltage. Now, does that make sense? Well, yes it does, because from our previous work we had this equation where the drain source current if I fix my threshold voltage, I fix my gate source voltage, this is a constant, then my current should be constant. So this equation here, A, only works when the, um, when the gate source voltage is above the threshold voltage, that's this equation's valid, and B, it only works when the drain source voltage is above 0.5 volts in the current sink region. So this equation here, it describes MOSFET behavior, but not in all cases, only in some quite specific cases. And we'll have a look at some of those specific cases later on. But for now, that's the behavior of my MOSFET.